Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are playing some more Miss Lemons, and I'm going to try and actually complete the game, get a flawless victory, and hopefully finally get access to that Ouroboros program that we talked about in the first episode, but couldn't access because we don't have the right code. In the previous episode, we faced an Undertale-like boss that seems almost unbeatable, and we got yet another ending for this game. The rabbit hole just keeps getting deeper and deeper. Now, in the downtime between episodes, what I've actually been doing is I've been grinding stars, and I found a really good way to do this. I bought the artifact called the Fragile Piggy Bank. Now, when you have this item, at the end of the round, if you've got enough stars and the piggy bank hasn't been damaged by wrong answers, it gives you loads of stars, it like multiplies them. And so now, as you can see, we've got 357 stars. So this is a really good item if anybody's out there struggling, just use this item, it really, really does help. So what we're going to be doing, guys, is we're going to be buying the Urnish, because the Urnish basically is used to pacify Miss Lemons if she gets angry. So we're going to use that, and we're also going to be buying... Uh, let's have a look. I've already got this. This is the uh, item crafter that we used in the last episode. But I'm also going to be buying this, the dimensional stabilizer. So we'll unlock that as well. This basically reduces the amount of hazardous events that can happen, such as headaches, notes that appear to block answers, and other stuff like that. So it's very important to have one of these. And I'm also going to get this, the Manaki Neko, which is this little cat-like thing that brings us good luck. Hopefully that will also reduce further any chances of any bad stuff happening because again this is a pacification type artifact. So we'll unlock that and with these items, the cat, the uh, upgrader and this dimensional stabilizer as well as the urnish and of course the piggy bank, hopefully we can finally get a victory on this very very challenging game because I've now been playing this for days and days and days. So guys, let's ring that bell and let's get started. Welcome back. Let's continue. Look at the all these little devices on our desk now. This map. is crazy. A little cat. <laughs> Let's see how these work out. Okay, 15 times 7 minus 14. 91. Good job. The next problem is... 13 times 6 minus 10. 68. Okay, nice. Awesome. Next. 15 times 8 plus 2. Mm. You are right. Lucky Next. I've got the calculator, guys. I'm telling you. Okay, so that'll be, for, that'll be 64. I already know Good it. On. I don't have to use a calculator the for that one. problem is... 55 minus 22. Oh, we've got the headache as well. Plus 40. Uh, let's have a look. I don't know what that is, guys. That's wrong. The next subject is... I just clicked anything because I was panicking. I did a calculator messed up there. All right, memory puzzle. Memorize this. Triangle, circle, square. Oh, no. It was just for two middle ones, I think. You are right. Next See, up. I never know what I have to memorize on those. Okay, circle, triangle, square, circle. We got a circle. Nope. <laughs> there we go. Triangle. Square. Awesome. Let's yes, continue. we did it. Okay, good. So far, so good, guys. Look at our little flower as well. It's filling up. With the right answers we're getting. The pestles are highlighting. I think this is it. Awesome. The yeah, next look at problem that. Is... 16 stars. We've got our piggy bank saving the stars there as well. And hopefully that spinny thing on the desk is like actually uh, stopping the crazy events from happening, like the headaches and the paper stuck Good to the job. board and stuff. The next problem I think that's is... what that device does, right? Awesome. Next up. Hey, look, her irritation went down. The flower worked. This is awesome. We might have to get perfect here, guys, if we do this whole round. Um... Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I got that one wrong. I spoke too soon. I'm going to try and get a perfect run. Now we've got all these gizmos helping us you out. Right. The next subject is memory. Oh, no, the little roots, the little creepers coming up around the cat. Okay, let's just awesome. keep her on the ball. Let's continue. We've got the scissors, though, guys. The scissors I found out actually you can be used from Mr. Tomatoes to hack through the, uh, the vines and the creepers. So if we keep the scissors ready, it should deter them. Good job. Good job. The next okay, yes, it snipped it. Look at geometry. that. Lovely little scissors. 
Okay, this one is eight. Awesome. Let's continue. Oh, we got it again. Good what luck. Job. Good the RNG. Subject That's what we like to see. Memory. Memory again. The gods are being kind today. Good job. Next. See, the great thing about um, that little gizmo on the board as well, guys, is it's generating a cheat sheet and a hammer every time uh, it, right. it kind of racks up enough the stars, subject is which is really good. That. And her irritation's been taken down by the flower again. That's awesome. Nine times five plus six. Uh, 51, you are I think. right. Yeah, Next up. That. One times six. Oh, it'll be six. Good job. <laughs> or the minus six. Yeah. Is that creeper got taken care of by the scissors again. This is going so well. This could be the run. We finally get it done. Awesome. The next problem is. Good job. Yes. Next. And up. her irritation is back to zero. We've recessed it completely. Right. We just need to hold Good it there. Job. Hold the, the line for thirteen is... more questions. Attention. Or twelve more actually. Can we do it? I'll keep my cheat sheet ready. Uh, A. Awesome. Next. This one. C. Awesome. The next problem is. Uh, let's have a look. That will take us round to C again. You are right. The next subject is. Geometry. Geometry. This is good, guys. This is very good that we've got geometry and only nine questions left. Bit of a headache, but we can still see it. That's fine. Good job. We've got Next. the vines coming back. Oh, we've run out of scissors, though. Okay, this isn't good. We've run out of scissors. Awesome. The next subject no. is. I'm so close. Okay. Uh, this one goes around here and to B. Awesome. The next problem is. We've taken our irritation down minus one now. Um, answers A for that. Good use the job. cheat sheet. Yeah, that's how we do it, guys. Got to use that cheat sheet. Which one is this? Untangle it. B. Good job. The next subject is. Oh no, geometry. the creeper's almost on us, phone. We've got four questions still. We're gonna have to click it and hope for the best. You are right. Next. Click, 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 quick, 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 quick. I don't think we're going to get this right, guys. No. No. Let's oh, continue. no. I thought it was 15. Oh, but her irritation is still zero. Yeah, we can't use the candy. It must have been minus one after all with the flower. That's awesome. So she hasn't actually got irritated. The next That's awesome. Problem is Two questions, guys. We could do this. We could do this. You okay. are right. 14. <laughs> Yes. I guess that's We've all done the it. tasks I have. Perfect run. Wonderful. I didn't expect you to be so smart. Hey. I haven't had such a smart student for a long time. Thanks. So, let's get straight to the Appreciate point. Appreciate it. it. Took me like As three I days. Promised, you will get a reward. <gasps> Since you are that smart, I think I will do something special for you. Yeah, give us I something. I will give you one of my abilities. Sage's Judgment, to be exact. It Sage's will automatically judgment. modify your player ID. To meet any needed requirements. <gasps> the project to put it simply, Boris. Think of it as a pass to absolutely any place with valuable information. I think you will find a use for it. Well, yeah, we can get I in, guess guys. It's time for me to go. There are still a lot of people in the world whose abilities and knowledge I want to test. You did a great job. Yeah, I go hope bother we someone will else. meet again. Goodbye. Okay. Bye bye. Guys, I think we can. Uh... I think we can access it. I think we can access Project Ouroboros finally. Let's give it a shot. And that's kicking us out of the game now. Yeah, we've gone back to the desktop. Here we go. Project Ouroboros loading in. This project contains classified information. We've seen this before, but I'll read it again, guys. Only registered users can access any data inside the Ouroboros project. By clicking on the button below, you will launch a security scan protocol that will scan your personal ID. So this is hopefully going to let us in now because we've beaten the game and got the good ending. Please note that this protocol can only be executed once. If you are not a registered user, your access to this project will be permanently blocked. 
Okay, well, we've got to cross our fingers and hope then. We didn't access it last time. It says you may now proceed. Obviously, we didn't access it last time because I was worried that we'd get locked out. This time, guys, we're going to launch this security scan and we're going to see if we can get in. Executing the security scan protocol. Here we go. Let's hope, guys, that this works. Scanning personal ID. Come on. Scanning completes. Okay, what's the result? Comparing your ID with IDs of registered users. Okay. Comparison complete. It's holding us on the edge of our seat. Access granted, yes, we can do it. Okay, let's go. Access level administrator. Okay, so we get different access levels, guys, for this program. This is really cool. Welcome back, Eugene. Ooh, okay. It's actually Mike, but, you know, you'd know that if you were actually scanning my computer. It's saying we Eugene, though, so this is the person who obviously accessed it before. Enter the Ouroboros project. So let's go. Personal notes for the player. General info. Uh, there's loads that we're missing, by the way. Look at all these. Hello, welcome to the Ouroboros project, or to its recovered copy, to be exact. Bypassing or hacking the ID scan in this program is impossible, so the only way to get here is to be a registered user, that is, the creator of this project, or to have my ability. If you are reading this, then you have proved to me that you are worthy to know the truth, and therefore I give you this ability of mine. So is that the, like, sage ability we just got from uh, Miss Lemons? I think it might be. This program is the archived version of the original Euroboros project, and I'm sure that the creator doesn't know about this recovered copy and still thinks that he erased the project completely. All of the information in this project is a mystery to me, since I have never seen its original form. Unfortunately, although I managed to recover this project, all the data here is corrupted. Well, since you were personally chosen by me, I think it will not be difficult for you to recover all of it. I don't think that you can help us in any way, but it's worth a try. Good luck to you, my wonderful students. This is like a mysterious person who's enlisted our help to try and like hack into uh, the Ouroboros project and see if we can suss it out. So let's go to data recovery. Enter the recovery code in the box below to recover specific data. Please note that every piece of data has its own original recovery code. Ah. So we actually did have some codes, guys. Do you remember I talked about those in the previous video? So these three files here have given me three codes. So I'm going to put in the first code now, which is 16819. Confirm. Huh, that hasn't done anything. That's the right code, but it hasn't done anything. Okay, I'll try... 18503. Okay, it's not done anything either. <laughs> These don't seem to be working for some reason. 24382 is the final one. Oh, that one worked. Data has been recovered. The other two didn't for some reason. Strange. Okay, let's go back. So, we don't have any more personal notes. So let's have a look at. Experiment logs. Experiment log 7. 22 of the 12th, and we don't know the year, but this is the 22nd of December. Subject successfully entered for cryosleep. Subject's brain is still functional. Subject is ready for mind transfer. On the 23rd of December, the subject's mind was successfully transferred to the vessel, waiting for vessel adaptation. Vessel limiter ratio used 70%. Hmm. The 24th, Christmas Eve of December here, guys. The vessel has successfully adapted to the uh, subject's mind and memories. 25th, on Christmas Day, the subject awakens. It seems that everything went well, and the subject did not retain any memories from her past life. So it's like a soul transfer procedure. And then on the 26th of the 12th, she escaped. I still don't know how it happened. Looks like she fooled me. But this is simply impossible. With a 70% vessel limiter, no living soul in this world would be able to keep their memories. Possible cause, split personality, question mark. Hmm. Now we've got test subject info. Subject 1. The file is corrupt. Please recover it. 
with its original recovery code. So this, yeah, this is why we need the codes, guys, to get these different files. But we have got Mr. Tomatoes. So this is him, of course. We see him in the game. Uh, form info, his basic stable form. Main body has been adapted into a vegetable to simplify the structure of the insides. Can absorb the code of the vessel, but needs someone else's help to do so. Abilities has no special abilities. System control level one. And then you can see here this diagram, guys. We've got flesh around the outside, but inside we've got a shell, and within the shell is a core. And this is threat level one. So he's like, it's kind of like SCP or something. They're different entities, and he's like a low level entity. But yeah, this is very intriguing stuff. Then we've got Devourer. So I think we have to play through Mr. Tomatoes, get all the different endings on that game again. And then obviously we'll see like all these monsters unlock. I haven't played through it on this computer before, so I think probably I would need to go back and get like the old data and recover it. Anyway, let's continue. So this is the like evolved version of Mr. Tomatoes. It's threat level four. And the form info for this says, advanced form, to maintain this form, he needs to devour a huge amount of vessel code, which is the body parts we feed him, like the hands and the eyes and the brains and stuff. In this form, he is more of a threat to the vessel than to the user, capable of devouring a particle of the user's personal ID. Trigger conditions, overabsorption of type conflicting vessel codes. So that's when we feed him the wrong things, he becomes this monstrous creature. Abilities, devouring feast, He's able to generate previously devoured conflicting vessel code to devour it again. System control level 4. Alright, then we don't have the um, rest of these yet. Subject 2. Oh, we've unlocked quite a few for Subject 2 though. Miss Lemons. She's threat level 5, so her basic form is already far more powerful. Personality info, her true form and personality. Main body has been adapted into a fruit to simplify the structure of the insides. Has many personalities that live inside her. Cannot devour the vessel code. Abilities. Abilities are unknown. And that's a level 5. And of course you can see here her core, the flesh on the outside and the shell around the core there. Then we have Lamia, which is the kind of demonic version of her, I guess. That's threat level 8. One of her personalities, appearance of this personality causes a slight mutation of the main body, causing it to bleed, loves blood and torture, which is why she's also known as the Blood Queen. Ooh, okay. Trigger conditions, irritation of the main body. Yeah, so if we irritate her too much, she turns into that thing, gives us the bad ending to the game, which we got in episode one. Abilities permanent mark, any wounds that previously inflicts will simultaneously exist in all realities, even after time traveling, so that's when we go back to Mr. Tomatoes, we still are missing our eye and hand, because of course that happened in a different reality, the one that Miss Lemons sort of inhabits. Even after time traveling, wounds will still remain, yeah, cool. Next one is Lorle, I think it's pronounced. <laughs> Probably got that wrong, I think it's Lorle. And Lorle is uh, a threat level 10, so that's when we kind of annoy her, I think. Personality info. One of her personalities. She has a selfish nature and an incredible ability that she uses only for her own benefit. Because of this personality, the main body is almost impossible to destroy. And the trigger conditions for this one is shows itself only when the main body is about to die. Her abilities are versatile reality control. This personality is capable of changing reality to any other that currently exists at any moment in time. In addition, it changes reality only for select targets, leaving everyone else in the previous one. And that is a system control level 2. And then we have Luxia, and oh yeah, that's the one from the boss fight, threat level 6. Uh, one of her personalities, appearance of this personality causes a slight mutation of the main body, disappears when the main body gets tired, has incredibly dangerous eyes. Trigger conditions, the main body is bored. Abilities, eye of will. This personality can make any creature move against its will. Eye of Swift, this personality can instantly move any creature within a short distance of its previous location. And um, that is system control level 6. Okay, and we haven't got the last one unlocked yet. So there's one more to unlock for Miss Lemons. And then we have Subject 3. So this must maybe hint at a third game, guys, because Subject 1 was Mr. Tomatoes, Subject 2, Miss Lemons, 
Subject 3 is going to be the final game, I think. And we're going to get more, like, access codes for this program, I guess, with that game. So it seems like there is going to definitely be another game in this series. Finally, we have Decapsulation. Enter the security password in the box below to begin decapsulation process. Please note that this process may destabilize the vessel and cannot be reversed. Oh man, do we have any codes for that? Maybe if we put in um, one of the other codes into this one, it will work. Oh yeah, we can actually enter more than uh, five numbers into this. Maybe I'll put both codes together then. Here we go. Confirm. No, that doesn't work. That's a shame. Hmm. So I don't know what we do with this yet. All right, guys. Well, I think this might be a good place to end this episode so far. We unlocked Project Euroboros and we went through the different notes and we found out these entities are basically like SCP type entities existing in alternate realities in a kind of simulation type program. It's all very complicated. I'm really going to have to dig into it to sort of work out exactly what's going on here. But I think, you know, this is probably going to be nearing the end of my series on Miss Lemons at this point. I'm sure there will be some more secrets. So what I'll probably do, guys, is dig into those. And once I found them, that will be the story explained, all endings explained type video that I make. Where I show you all the secrets in one video. But I think for my playthrough series, this is where I'm going to leave it for now. I might make one more video if there's anything relevant to cover. But otherwise, just look forward to in the next few weeks my video recapping everything. And it will include anything that didn't appear in this particular video but with that said guys that brings us to the end of the video today and i hope you did enjoy it if you did remember to leave a like comment down below and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one and i will see you all on the next one